welcome you all in this session you are going to discuss the classification of power system stability outcome after successful completion of the session the student could able to classify the various stability analysis in power system introduction power system is very large interconnected system which is frequency subjected to disturbance caused by changes in loads switching operation fault etc hence maintaining reliable and stable system is considered to be an important aspect in power system power system stability in general is defined as the ability to respond to a disturbance from its normal operating condition by restoring the state of equilibrium between the elements as synchronous machine contribute much for maintaining the stability system stability can also be defined as the ability of machine synchronize synchronism when subjected to small or large disturbance at present the demand for electricity is rising phenomenally especially in developing countries like india this present demand is leading to operation of power system at its limit the need for reliable stable and quality power is one of the rise due to electric power sensitive industry like information technology communication and electronics etc in this scenario meeting the electric power demand is not only a criteria but also it is responsible of power system engineers to provide a stable and quality power to the consumers stability studies the stability of power system is defined as the ability of power system to return to stable operation when it is subjected to a disturbance it may be small or large disturbance so you can define it as the tendency of power system to develop restoring force equal to or greater than the disturbance force to maintain the state of equilibrium ability to keep the machine in synchronism with another machine is we call it as stability so there are uh, various st stabilities let's see one by one the first one is steady state stability the steady state stability is defined as the ability of power system to remain or return to stable operation when it is subjected to small disturbance a power system has a steady state stability if it can regain the synchronous speed after a small disturbance example normal load variations or changes these are some examples for steady state stability the second one is the dynamic stability the ability of power system to regain synchronous after small disturbance seconds for a long time so it is what we call it as dynamic so example is like turbine speed change in load these are some examples for dynamic stability and the third one is so uh, here for small duration that is steady state stability and dynamic stability is for a long time there's a difference between steady and the dynamic and the third one is transient stability this is so the transient stability is defined as the ability of power system to retain the stable operation when it is subjected to large disturbance example sudden changes in application or removal of load line switching operations line fault loss of excitation these are some various causes which cause transient stability in power system steady state limit is the maximum power that can be transferred without the system become unstable when the load is increased gradually under steady state condition and transient limit is the maximum power that can be transferred without the system becoming unstable when a sudden or large disturbance occurs so that is transient limit rotor angle stability it is considered with the ability of an interconnection synchronous machine 
of power system to remain in synchronism under normal operating condition and after being subjected to disturbance. It is the ability of interconnected machine of power system to maintain synchronism after disturbance is called as rotor angle stability. There are two types, small signal stability and transient stability. The small signal stability is otherwise called as steady state stability. It is the ability of power system to maintain st uh, steady acceptable voltage at all bus in the system under normal operating condition after being subjected to disturbance. The main factors for instability in is the inability of power system to meet the demand for reactive power. That's the major cause of stability problem in power system. Mid-term stability and long-term stability. In it represents the trans transition between short-term and long-term response. Typical range of time period is for short term it is 0 to 10 seconds. For mid term it is 10 to few minutes and for long term it is from few minutes to uh, tens of minutes. In 30 minutes, 40 minutes like that it goes on. So that is what we call it as long term. For short term it uh, comes within 10 seconds. Mid term from 10 seconds to minutes and from for long term it goes beyond 10 seconds, 10 minutes. Okay. So the long term stability, usually these problems be associated with inadequates in equipment response, poor coordination of control and protection equipments, insufficient active and reactive power reverses. These are the major causes which create long term stability in power system. Thank you.